Well, ladies and gentlemen, the situation is kind of wilder than Johnny Sin's movies because apparently we ended up getting the zombies, Black Ops 6 zombies reveal, gameplay got leaked out for the multiplayer, videos getting taken down left and right, and apparently now we got a lot more people. We got Call of Duty D Riders, okay? First of all, I gotta talk about it. We got Call of Duty Refugees. Guys, I got a video that I wanna share with you guys, but I'm going somewhere with this one, right? We got Call of Duty BBC Bundle Lovers as well, Bruh. right? We got Call of Duty Haters, we got Call of Duty uh, Refugees. Jeez, we got everybody right now on the scene, okay? And the, the, the Call of Duty scene is apparently looking like this. I mean, th this is probably one of the best picture out there that describes everything. Because you got Blame Truth, right? The homie Blame Truth, right? Yay, the homie Blame Truth. Now, the situation with the homie Blame Truth here is this, okay? He was hating on Call of Duty. Bruh. Like he always does. That's, that's like pretty normal information, okay? He was hating on Call of Duty and Activision took down his video. Like, damn! Like, damn, bro! Like, holy crap, what? What the actual hell, Activision? Like, damn, let a brother live, bro! So he wasn't showing Black Ops 6 gameplay or any of the league gameplay. He was just simply hating on the game like everybody's hating on the game right now. His video got shot down. And, and it is crazy. And today they revealed the, the zombies, uh, the zombies intro cinematic. And some people are kind of bricked up right now. Some people are wondering, like, how is it going to be? We got a shoddy right there doing some push-ups right now. And Richtofen got teased as well. So, yeah, a lot of people kind of bricked up. The sick is doing helicopters right now. And, uh... Yeah, people doing backflips as well, and I'm kind of intrigued by zombies. I'll, I'll keep a buck fifty, okay? Zombies. I hope this one, this one uh, is a banger. But we're gonna get right into it. I gotta show you guys this video right now. Like the video if you just want a good game. Dislike the video if you just want to see twenty dollars, thirty dollars, forty dollars, hundred dollars bundles every single week. Let me know what you guys like, actually. But roll it. Been revealed at this point from a gameplay perspective, anyway. We've seen so much of it in recent days. So much so that Call of Duty themselves have just now put out a tweet. Saying that Intel in the field only scratches the surface. Obviously, that's in reference to the leaks that have been coming out. Get the full debrief and see Black Ops 6 gameplay live from Call of Duty next on August 28th at okay. 12 p.m. Uh -huh. Eastern. This is definitely in reference. Yeah, we're definitely on a live stream, so hit the bell, boys. We're gonna live stream. We're gonna actually see uh, if the community is gonna be looking like this or not. Okay, I, I hope the community do not look like this. Okay, uh, but, but a little bit. I want, I want some disaster too. Like, I want to see like some drama as well, man. Like, like I, I need, to, I need. To sauce man but i hope gen genuinely the game is good at least this time man i, I don't want to be the guy that says that black ops 7 will save us because uh, you know i've done that i've been there man i've been there man and you also got the zombies uh, trailer reveal as well so they are saying they're going to be revealing gameplay very soon as well but you, you got this chick as well damn you got uh, like this mister as well so, yeah, uh, apparently they're going after Rick often is what we're hearing from this. So they revealed the plot in it. Reference to all the leaks that have been coming out over the course of the past couple of days. And I've got to say, it's been kind of refreshing to see leaks that aren't just, you know, cryptic tweets or things yeah. like that. We're seeing yeah, straight yeah. up gameplay. We're getting a feel for what Black Ops 6 is going to be like. And it looks like the build of Black Ops 6 that we're seeing is actually going to be the beta build. Now, according to what I'm reading online over on Charlie Intel, it looks like it was there a build go. of Black Ops 6 that was uploaded to the PlayStation Network database. Yeah which allowed people to access it if they had a jailbroken PS4. Mm, Apparently mm. that build is going to be the beta build, which explains yeah. the limit. And, and I was seeing a lot of people saying that, no, bro, like, it's six months old build, you know what I mean? Like, it's a, it's a, it's a years old build, right? Like, it's beta build, guys. It is beta build. <laughs> it is the, what you saw is what we're gonna get, although I gotta be real. It's like PS4 gameplay, right? It's PS4 gameplay, so of course the PS5 gameplay is gonna be good. Hopefully, it's gonna be like what we have seen so far in the official gameplays and whatnot, right? And this is a cinematic cutscene, so of course cinematic cutscenes are always good. This is pre-rendered. This was probably running on RTX 50 billion, which is not even out, but apparently Activision got hold of that, right? They were running like uh, th this probably on an Area 51 NASA style computer or some bow squash like that to make it look as good as possible. But this is render. Everybody knows that it's gonna look the best, right? But when we get the game, the games uh, uh, get people apparently looking like this, guys. Apparently people are the ones looking like this, but, but wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. 
limited attachments, the limited number of guns, as well as the limited number of maps that were available in the footage that we have seen so far. If you guys haven't seen the Black Ops 6 gameplay, I mean, it's a simple Google away. Obviously, I can't show it. They're going to take my video down like they try to take down Blame Truce. But after having watched a lot of the footage, movement does seem pretty crazy in the game. Like, omnidirectional movement obviously is going to be a big change for Call of Duty fans. It's going to yeah. make the game fundamentally feel a lot different. And I will say that sliding and maneuvering around the map looks incredibly fluid and fast compared to what we've seen in recent years. Like, for example, everyone thought the Modern Warfare 3 movement was such an improvement over Modern Warfare 2. Well, Black Ops 6 looks faster than Modern Warfare 3. It straight okay, up does, which may make it more of a sweaty game, but it's definitely going to create a bit of a skill gap in between the player base. But it doesn't matter because skill based matchmaking is there anyway. Yeah. So if you're not there good with go. the movement, you're probably not going to play in lobbies where people do have the movement. It's just skill based matchmaking. It's at the forefront of absolutely everything. But aside from that, I've seen a lot of people. In other words, it's Joe Orman. These seconds going to go crazy with the skill based matchmaking, mate. People saying that Black Ops 6 basically just looks like Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare had a baby, which I yeah. kind of agree with that. Now, keep in mind, all the footage we've seen so far is on a jailbroken PS4, right? So therefore, the graphics are going to be terrible. We're talking like the lowest possible quality last gen builds are going yeah. to look a lot worse than, say, yeah, a Series yeah. X or a PS5 or even somebody's gaming PC. But that being said, aesthetically, not talking about like the graphics, but like just straight up like aesthetically, like the theme of the game, it does look a lot like Black Ops Cold War, but it does have some of those Modern Warfare elements, which I think is by design. They did announce years ago that all of the different Call of Duty developers and studios were going to be working closer together yeah. in an effort to make the game. And, and that was the biggest mistake ever, because you see, because of everybody working like that, it, every single year the game looks the same old games. It, it's the same game. It's the same game every year, right? I mean, Call of Duty has always been the same game, but at least like over the years, you remember, right? Black Ops 1 to Black Ops 2, crazy difference. And how many years it took them? A year and a half to make it, damn it! Like, Treyarch was working, you know, when Black Ops 1 came out in November of 2010, 2011, they were doing, they were working on Black Ops 2, and they were also putting out DLC Zombies content, and also multiplayer content for Black Ops 1. And in the same year, they were working on Black Ops 2, and guess what? Black Ops 2 comes out next year in 2012, looks wildly different from Black Ops 1, and same goes for, like, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, a lot of similarities, but but still, it was a different game, and it had like a lot of stuff. I would say like Modern Warfare 3, the original one, not 2023 version, the original Modern Warfare 3 2011, that, that was on steroids in comparison to Modern Warfare 2 2009, and Modern Warfare 2 2009 was on steroids versus Call of Duty for the original, you know, back in 2007. So, you know, we had that progression, and every single year, the, the menus, right, the game had a different feeling. Infinity Ward specifically had a different feel uh, for the game, right? Some loved it, some didn't. Uh, Treyarch had a different feel to Call of Duty, which some, of course, loved it, some didn't. I would say most majority of his liked Treyarch products, but this time I'm seeing, like, criticism uh, all around that, you know, this year's game is uh, kind of looking like Modern Warfare. It looks like that Infinity Ward made it. I mean, no crap, no shies, because they actually did, they actually did. Oh, shit. Or at least Treyarch borrowed some of the aspects from the, the, the last year's Call of Duty, the last, last year's Call of Duty, from the last five years. So now every, basically, simply put, right, Black Ops 1, I, I was reading this comment, right, and it's so true, because Black Ops 1 uh, menu alone, we're not even talking about Black Ops 1 as a game, though. Uh, let me know what was your first Call of Duty game. Mine was Black Ops 1. But Black Ops 1 ma menu alone had more character than whatever crap that we get nowadays, right? It had more character. Black Ops 1 menu alone. And nowadays, every single Call of Duty game feels like a subscription model. Uh, Netflix uh, subscription. But, you know what? Uh, I, I gotta be real. When they first revealed the gameplay, it did look odd. It did look odd. You know, it doesn't look trash. It doesn't look the greatest thing ever. I wasn't hit on the G in the G spot or anything like that. It's not super impressive. Uh, even the Call of Duty BBC bundle lovers right now, they're also saying the same thing. Yeah, it's, it's kind of mid, right? It's kind of mid. Recently, we had the homie Eight Thoughts, right? Like the homie Bruh. Eight Thoughts, uh, the, the 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 Justin Trudeau guy. Uh, of course, Blame Trudeau's always hitting on the game, but you know we uh, we had the homie uh, Eight Thoughts as well, <laughs> and and the, and the homie Eight Thoughts has like turned the ship around, bro. He's on loving Call of Duty every day, 24/7, and he sees the league gameplay comes out, makes a video, and says that, "Well, this year, 
it's kind of bad. <laughs> so I was like, it's kind of mid. So right now, a lot of people are kind of like mixed with it. Of course, I'm seeing like some of you guys say that. No, man, it's looking really, really good, man. Excuse me. I'm shaking, man. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Oh, I'm shaking. And, and a lot of people are shaking, but there are, of course, some people that are like. Of course, there are some of you that are looking like this, which is fair, right? This is why I bring this picture up. This is a perfect example of what's going on in the community right now. Y you feel what I'm saying? I just hope the game turns out good, man. Like, damn, bro. Like, we've been asking for a good game, like, for, for, for how many years again, bro? Damn, man. Just one good game, man. Just one good game. And next year, next year, we're also getting Black Ops 2 Remake. So I hope Black Ops 2 Remake is also good, man. <laughs> but after that, we can start having some bad games, guys. It's, it's fine. Just this year and next year, make sure it's good. And after that, you guys can, you know, milk us dry like you always do. You're probably gonna milk us dry with this game as well. But, but damn, man, can a brother get like this year and next year game being good? Like the video if you agree, man. Like the video if you agree. Games more streamlined and unified, which Wait in some it. ways is good. So therefore, if we have like a good feature in one game, that should be carrying over into the next game. But at the same time, you lose a lot of that heart and soul that made Call of Duty feel so unique back in the day. Of course, recently we had the news that Activision have freaking been selling AI bundles in the Modern Warfare there 3 go. shop. So right there, you could argue that the heart and soul of the game's already been stripped away entirely. But really, when you go back to like World at War, for example, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, those three games, not only theme-wise, but just every Thing about them was so different has such a unique feeling as compared to what we saw in games like advanced warfare for example or call of duty 4 yeah, modern yeah, warfare yeah. 3 call of duty ghost you know yeah I, I would I, I would go as far as to say even call of duty even call of duty ghost had a wildly different feel to it regardless whether you liked it or not but but it, it felt unique though it felt different though you know nowadays it's like the same old game man that's uh, that's also uh adding to the burnout and to the community's fatigue but because every year you hear it's the same game call of duty has always been the same game don't get me wrong though but right now it's feeling more like same old same old right like damn man like can a brother get like you, you feel i'm saying like a different feel to it their games felt back in the day and looked and just had this different vibe than infinity board games and vice versa and having that variety in between each year felt incredible honestly like having a modern warfare game then jumping to a black ops game then going back to modern warfare then going back to black ops having yeah. that variety there was nice they didn't feel like you were playing the same game year after year people back then of course always said it was the same game but it didn't matter they felt yeah. fundamentally different there's a whole different yeah. feeling and atmosphere and vibe that you got from each title because the developers were responsible for their own work as compared to everybody always working on everything yeah. all of the time yeah. what we see with black ops 6 is a bit of that treyarch charm like it does kind of look and kind of like vibe like a black ops game but you can't help but just when you look at the menus when you look at the ui when you look at some of the gameplay elements you can't help yeah. but feel like yeah this is like you definitely see the inspiration from like modern warfare 3 modern warfare 2 and some of the stuff that infinity war and sledgehammer have been doing it's not unique a Treyarch game, it's a Call of Duty game, which I think is turning off a lot sadly, of people right now. Sadly. On top of the omnidirectional movement, S sadly, right? Because with Treyarch games, like I want fast paced, arcadey, like simply put Black Ops 2, perfect. Even Black Ops Cold War, uh, honestly, in the recent years, it's a, it's a very good, it's a solid game. It was a solid game. Minus the zombies, I always said Black Ops Cold War zombies. Uh, uh, listen, 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 okay? Listen, whoa, whoa, okay, listen. A Black, Ops, Black Ops Cold War zombies gameplay was good. But the rest of the stuff, dog water, man. Dog water. In comparison, only, I'm all, listen, man, I'm not comparing Black Ops Cold War with like any other game out there on the market. I'm only comparing Black Ops Cold War, not even to Modern Warfare or anything like that. I'm only comparing Black Ops Cold War zombies alone to Black Ops 3 zombies, Black Ops 2 zombies, and Black Ops 4 zombies. Black Ops 4 zombies was inferior in comparison to Black Ops 3 zombies. Black Ops Cold War gameplay, very good love it but the rest of the stuff i mean come on now man like we just are better than that no zombies crew they got rid of it now they're bringing it back i hope uh yeah that's a w this time we're getting a zombie screw and looks like that there's gonna be story progression and i really really hope that the the, the map is fun man like I, I hope this game is because too much of the story alone is also gonna be bad right we want balance we want good maps replay value good maps for the high run players we want good uh, high runs uh, map. Uh, we want the map being good for for people that love to train zombies, right? And also people that love to camp zombies. Because sometimes you you know you want to camp, other times you want to train zombies, right? You you know the rise of Dracha in Black Ops Three was a perfect balance for high round players, for people that wanted to train zombies, people that wanted to uh, you know play with their homeboys as well. 
Uh, and, and camp, because, uh, you know, playing with your homies, uh, talking, and, and camping, eating at the same time, right? Like, it, it's fun, man. I miss those days, bro. L like the video. One in the comments if you ever done that. For example, the giant, the, the original, uh, the Reese map, they remastered in Black Ops 3 Zombies, was uh, called the giant. And yeah, bro, like the catwalk strategy. You remember, you remember that? One guy would get the Wonder Waffa DJ, okay? Another man would get the Ray gun, okay? Another man would have the Dingo, the BRMs, and you would fully pack a punch them, right? You would have the, uh, like, uh, uh, the, the gobble guns on top, right? And everything, you, you would camp on the, the, the catwalk, and it was lit, man. Life was simple, life was beautiful. We, we, uh, we want something like that. And oh, on top, like, the Rise and the Rock was perfect for solo easter egg as well. For players that want to do solo easter egg, for players that want to do co-op easter egg, the boss fight was a actually really good. Uh, but then things started to uh, get complicated, especially Blood of the Dead easter egg, and later on the easter eggs that we got, they started being complicated. I hope they go crazy with the story, but I hope the easter eggs are okay-ish. When, what I mean by okay-ish, I mean like, I don't wanna, nobody wanna watch like a two-hour guide. There's very few people that would love to. Maybe you wanna watch two-hour guides and that's perfectly fine, but I'm talking generally speaking, right? Majority don't don't wanna be watching like two-hour guides on YouTube about doing an easter egg, man. So yeah, it, it gets tiring. I mean, I mean, it gets tiring. So I hope they find a perfect balance. Like zombies just need to be good and fun, man. And, and I hope like it's not like multiplayer map, like Modern Warfare, uh, Mo uh, the, the last uh, Call of Duty games and Modern Warfare 3 being a warzone map i wouldn't mind them bringing zombies on a warzone map this time again as long as these original we, we got original maps and these original maps are good and uh, fun yeah simple as that like then i would love to have uh, for example in black ops cold war we also had onslaught right which uh, was a year <laughs> exclusive for playstation <laughs> no of course we're not gonna have anything like that because daddy phil spencer bought uh, activision right so we're not gonna have it it's gonna be day one for everybody which is good so I hope we also have like an onslaught mode. I hope uh, we also have a transit-like system where you know we have a big zombies map and they cut the sections like tick, 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 and you can play survival on, for example, all the way back in Black Ops 2 Zombies, you could have uh, played survival on diner, bus depot, and uh, the the most commonly known, the the popular version or the most popular mode was uh, apparently playing survival on town i wouldn't mind grief uh, as a game mode turned as a game mode yeah they need to bring more game modes and they need to do uh, they need to cut sections off as well and make it into smaller maps so that boosts up replay value replayability they had four years man they had four years by the time this game comes out they're, they're gonna have four years there's no excuse bruh because already i'm seeing people say that the game multiplayer at least looks mid because and guess what it's the honest truth now mid means average average means five out of ten and five out of ten and mid it's not like the worst thing ever this is why you call it mid right it's mid it's average it's not the best but it's also not the worst but i mean damn bro after so many bad releases and they're gonna have like four years to make it make this game we deserve a little bit right we deserve a little bit more especially when when we're now finding out that the the bundles in the games are made by ai oh, shit. what are these suckers doing exactly tell me what are these suckers doing it's the AI making the, 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 the game for them right now. Like, damn, bro. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So, we just, I'm just saying we deserve better. We deserve more. Gamers deserve more. Like the video if you agree. And in the aesthetic of the game, however, there's also going to be a number of things that are a bit controversial that we've seen from the footage. Like, for example, Domination no longer just has flags. They have zones with a larger capture radius, which is similar to how Domination works in X-Defiant. If you've been playing that, it's kind of similar, right? Where instead of having like a straight up flag, like a small circular flag, it's more like a zone that you have to capture in Domination, which uh -huh. feels a little bit weird. They're bringing back the winner's circle, right? From Black Ops 3. You guys remember that? They're going to show the top three players on the winning team. They're showing the best play at the end of the match as compared to the final kill, which is something I'm not really a big fan of. The scoreboard is going to be pretty similar to the Black Ops 4 scoreboard in that it does not show deaths, but you can scroll over somebody's name to see how many deaths that they have. Bruh, They're bringing... What, what, what's up with that, man? Like, this is crazy. Now, the entire reason they have done that in the past, and by the looks of it, they're doing it again. The entire reason they did it is because they want to uh, save the players. They want to have safe spaces for the players. Bro, so what if somebody did, like, let's just say two kills, 18 deaths in a game? They don't want to hurt feelings. That's why they want to hide the death count. That's some bowl squash, bro. That's some child crap bro like this game is 18 plus but they know of course kids play it i mean kids play it even i when i started playing black ops 1 uh, i was a kid too so but damn bro like what's up with that bro show the kills and deaths 
uh, show the stats on the leaderboards. That's the entire reason why suckers pull up the leaderboards, bruh. Back emotes and the spray wheel, and from all of this, like from the recent footage that we've seen that's been coming out over the course of today and yesterday, you kind of see how they're kind of taking all these like ideas from different Black Ops games and some modern warfare games and kind of like homogenizing them all within Black Ops 6. I suppose my biggest worry is will the game actually feel like a proper Black Ops game, or is it going to feel a lot more like a modern warfare yeah. game with a Black Ops coat well, of paint? Not. Is it gonna feel like Black Ops Cold War 2.0? We do know that from uh, after this, I'm gonna go pray, guys, and I'm gonna pray that this game does not turn out to be like modern warfare okay i'm gonna yeah yeah bro like absolutely bro like nah 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 the gameplay perspective things arguably have gotten better it really depends it's a matter of opinion obviously but from my perspective movement being better sounds okay. like a positive change like when i go from a game like x defiant back to modern warfare 3 i i can't tell you guys like please somebody back me up in the comments if you guys have noticed the exact same thing like going from x defiant to modern warfare 3 cod feels slow it feels clunky it feels like i'm running in mud like i feel like i can't really move you know there's something about x defiant that's like so fast and fluid and it looks uh -huh. like we're going to be leaning more in that direction with black ops 6 and that seems like a positive change to me because i like being able to move around quickly within my call of duty games obviously that can be taken too far ding, ding, ding. everybody does everybody does except for the campers though so far when people are constantly jumping and sliding and movement takes much more precedent over other aspects of the gameplay obviously that can be off-putting for a lot of people but movement does seem like it's going to be a lot faster so maybe that's gonna uh -huh. be better maybe uh -huh. it's gonna be worse we're gonna have to see obviously score streaks being traditional score streaks is going to be good having prestige mode returning with rewards is going to be a fantastic addition the weapons themselves based on what we've seen so far it looks like gunsmith is being dumbed down a little bit more streamlined okay, that's possibly just because of the beta build but I, I hope the gunsmith is more uh, because i hate the idea of like uh I love the idea of having multiple attachments, but I hate the idea that the more attachments you put on, the slower your reaction timing gets. That's the idea. I like, what the actual hell, bro? Like, if I'm having three, five attachments, I should be buff, bro. I should be like, duh, duh, duh. you know what I'm saying? Like, I work to unlock the attachments, man. Let me feel a little OP, bruh. But every time you add an attachment, you have a positive and you also have the negative. Damn, bro. Like, so, and after that, you know what happens? Suckers run like no build guns, right? Like suckers are like, okay, I'm just gonna do one attachment. That's it. <laughs> like, bruh, like, like what? What? So I, I hope like we get attachments, and I hope uh, they don't do that uh, bull crap like Infinity Tard, man. Maybe with this game, we're not going to have like 50,000 attachments to sort through and just have to Google all of our classes to figure out which rear grip we should be putting on our guns. You know, that seems more streamlined so yeah. far based yeah, on the beta. Yeah, yeah. So overall, it seems like they've made some positive gameplay changes to Black Ops 6, kind of yeah. building off what Sledgehammer Games did with Modern Warfare 3. Let, let me know your thoughts in, uh, in the comment section. Check out this video on the screen. We recently had really good news about GTA 6. Apparently, trailer 2 leaks are going wild right now. Check out this video on the screen if you're into GTA 6. If you have already seen it, then check out the video on the left. We got some new drama for Dr. Disrespect as well, man. We got an update and it's looking bad right now, okay? So check it out and I'll see you.